Hello everybody, it is Mr. Modern Financials here coming at you with another money making tips video. Guys, if you enjoy e-commerce, affiliate marketing, paid surveys, app reviews, budgeting be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like on the video that way the youtube algorithm notifies you whenever i upload new content once again hit that subscribe button leave a like and now let's get into today's video so in today's video i have an interesting one three ways you can make money with amazon amazon is a very big company and they do a lot with a lot of different things it's not so simple as you just go on amazon.com you have to you know go find the fulfiller and start drop shipping and or source the stuff yourself it's a lot simpler than that there's a lot more options than that for making money with amazon a lot of people focus in on one or two things but there's in this video i'm gonna give you three different ways that a lot of people might not talk about on how you can make money with amazon and i have done all three of these ways some of them i don't really do as much anymore because i have other obligations in my life i have other businesses i make money other ways but these are all three things that i have done before in the past that have made me a decent bit of money. So starting off, we're starting off with Merch by Amazon. So Merch by Amazon is very simple. It's print on demand. What this means is that when someone buys your product, Amazon prints it and they ship it to them and you make a commission. All you have to do is get the art for your shirt. So if you already know how to design shirts, if you already know how to, you know, a little bit of Photoshop, you could do this very easily. If you don't, don't worry though, because you can go on Fiverr.com and I'll have a link down below in the description to check it out so you guys get a bonus. Um, I believe you'll get a bonus if you use my link. Uh, you could go to Fiverr.com and you could hire an artist for five to ten bucks. And if you sell at least three shirts, you're making a profit. Okay, hire a cheap T-shirt artist, something silly. Be smart about it though. Like if you know Christmas is coming up, try a Christmas shirt. If you know um, a certain trend or a certain meme is getting popular, try that. Of course, you have to watch your copyrights. You can't do things like you know t television or music shirts or anything like that unless you have the proper the proper licenses and the pro proper uh, copyright stuff, right? And you have permission and what you do is you basically just get a a piece of a, a jpeg or a transparent png file right and you will upload it to the site put it on a few shirts and you don't have to sh buy anything it's completely free you don't have to do a single thing Amazon will basically keep your file in storage, and when one of your shirts sells, they slap that picture on a shirt, ship it out, and you'll make five to ten bucks a shirt, depending on how you price it. Very simple, very competitive. It's not easy to do, but honestly, it doesn't cost a lot to do either. If you honestly buy a design on Fiverr, and you buy it for ten bucks, and you could sell two or three shirts a month. That's not bad, guys. I mean, that adds up over time. Um, some people get more in depth with it, start trying to buy ads and stuff. I'll do separate videos on that in the, in the future, so be sure you're subscribed to the channel. But yeah, you can see it right here. You upload your artwork, or if you buy your artwork, you set a list price. They will print what's sold, fast shipping with Prime, and you earn monthly royalties. You do need to request an invitation. I'm already in the program, but I'm not signed in right now. That's why it's asking that um usually it'll take about a month or two to get into the program so it's not something you do very quickly it's something you have to plan out have a game plan and really think methodically with this and think of how you're going to get your designs to get trending how you get your shirts to get trending and whatnot and the more they sell the higher they'll rank in amazon's algorithm so it's kind of like a snowball effect like all things on the internet that's why i always say a lot of things online are snowball effects once you get going you really get going but yeah merch by amazon is number one on my list Number two is Amazon Mechanical Turk. This is basically a sort of a gig economy-esque type of website where companies will basically want, who want cheap labor. You're not going to make a ton of money on this one. This is really cheap labor and you could perform a virtual tasks for them. So it could be writing, you know, writing a script, writing copyright. It's all about micro tasks. That's what the, the proper term is. And what you do is you do things that don't take a lot of time, but you're not going to 
get paid a lot, and it's supposed to be a very cheap source of labor for companies. However, if you do it right, you could actually make a good bit of money if you do it correctly. Um, some of the benefits of it is there is no schedule. You could do it whenever you want. Um, it's very optimized, and you, you know the company is going to pair you. You're going to get paired up with the proper company because Amazon puts a lot of thought into that. And some of the tasks you might be building, you might be doing, guys, are you know website testing, writing you know scripts, writing little things, um, copywriting, uh, you know uh, doing subtitles on like videos and stuff. There's a lot of different things you could do on this website, so that's kind of nice about it. Again, you're not going to get a ton per hour for your labor, but it is the benefit. The the cross side of that, the benefit of it is that you could do it whenever you want. So if you have an hour at night and it's not quite worth getting a second job or something, but you want to make a little bit of extra money, try Amazon Mechanical Turk because you can easily make eight to nine dollars an hour if you pick the right task. Don't cut yourself too short. Don't go for the things where they're offering literal pennies to you. Don't I wouldn't I would try and avoid that. You have to make sure you're getting your you know your money's worth for your time because time is money as well. But Amazon Mechanical Turk, anything that's Amazon is going to be very safe. They're going to guarantee you your money once you do it. So check it out, Amazon Mechanical Turk. Lastly, guys, is Amazon FBA. A. Now, this is a little bit similar to merch, only you actually have to go out and get the item. So what a lot of people do is they do used items. They go out, they get used textbooks. And what the benefit of FBA is, is simply this. You don't have to house it. You don't have to house all of this merchandise in your wherever you live, apartment, condo, house, whatever. You don't have to house it there. What you do is the second you get it, the sec let's say you go to Goodwill, right? You find a textbook there for 10 bucks. You see it's going for 25 on Amazon. You bring it home. You pack it up, you ship it to them, they store it in a warehouse, and when it sells, they ship it out. Now, because they're doing a bit more, they're going to take a cut of the money as well. However, it does save you a lot of time. This is Amazon FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, that's what FBA means. A lot of like eBay flippers and textbook flippers and video game flippers and action figure uh, flippers do this service because it saves them so much time and time is money. So if you're looking to get into that side of things, looking to start sourcing stuff from uh, thrift stores and Goodwills and whatever tag sales, check out Amazon FBA. I know a lot of people have had success for it. I've done it like once or twice. This is the one I've done the least, so I can't talk too much about it, but I wanted to include it because I have friends and I know people online who have had a lot of success with this service. Guys, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, once again, please, please, please hit the subscribe button and leave a like on the video. I'm going to try and get about three videos out per week for the next few months. We're almost at a thousand subscribers on the channel, so keep on pushing. Share these videos anywhere you can. Share them with a friend who wants to start making money, start their own business. I'll catch you next time, and as always, have a great day.